what has you coming out of retirement <laughs> and playing with Shelburne in Ireland? Well, listen, I had a wonderful career that I'm very proud of, um, and I got to accomplish a lot of my goals, but one thing that was sort of off the resume was playing Champions League football. Uh, Shelbourne FC won last year the Irish League here, and um, uh, I just really wanted to play Champions League, and so I looked at the squads that were playing Champions League this year, and I looked for a project that might be uh, well-suited for me, and I thought, why not give a, give a little shout out to my ancestors with the, the name <laughs> O'Reilly and come over to here and play with Shelbourne FC and uh, attempt to, you know, win a couple of matches, but also, of course, grow the game of women's football. Um, and that is so Ireland. important. And I think that, you know, the Shelbourne players, I gather, they're just awestruck to see yourself walking into the change room from the supporters' point of view. It's amazing as well. But you, because you, you did hang up the boots is that, in 2019. Was that, because we're seeing that with Serena Williams at the moment, she's doing press talking about how to juggle family and sport and how difficult it is. And you have two young boys. Was that kind of the reason that you decided you were going to have to finish up with football to continue to have family? Or It was, I think. I think, you know, in your mind, um, you know, you do have to obviously plan your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I was an early bloomer in terms of my footballing career. My first national team sure. cap was at age 17. So when Incredible. I get into my mid-30s, you're kind of like, okay, I, I did it. I, I accomplished my dreams, um, but I still love the game. I'm yeah. still fit. And so I, I had the two kids, which was my goal. Oh. And then I thought, I still feel pretty good. So, you know, I'm part of a bunch of charity matches and I play within like a men's five-a-side league where I'm from in the U.S. And, you know, I thought that I could still knock it around and I still loved it so much. Yeah. So why not? I, I think there's so many interesting things there because we've just seen in um, uh, Louise Gavin, one of the Kerry footballers who was in the final of the All-Ireland, like she had to go off and she was breastfeeding, you know, during this because we're seeing more and more. We saw it with the English team as well. There were babies in the team photos. Right. So it isn't becoming an either or for, for women mm. anymore. Whether you have a baby, you have to retire right. if you're a And a, a lot of my teammates did decide that they wanted to have... Um, kids during their career. And I just never thought that that was for me. I guess I just assumed that that was one chapter of my yeah. life and I was turning the page and then I was moving into family mode. And uh, I never really thought that I would mix the two. Um, but here we are. And I was just telling Tommy, it was, it was such a privilege for me to have my little son, William, out on the pitch with me after the game. Um, because I just never really thought that that was for me. That was going to be something that I could... Uh, share with him and so yeah it's it's amazing it's, for me it's to definitely be able to do something that. I kind of regret from my career in a sense that my children would never have seen me play right yeah. and for you you put up that Twitter post of you and your son and just this is showing my son what brave is and yeah. I thought that was just such a gorgeous you know that's a picture that will will yeah. stay with the family forever yeah yeah I wish that uh he'll maybe he'll um remember it because maybe I got another five years in me so no I doubt. guess I can't say that he won't remember it because yeah. who knows? Never say never. Yeah. Um, I didn't think that I'd be lacing him up here at, at age 37, but here we are, and um, I'm just going to enjoy it as long as I can. Uh, doing it was um, you had a chat. You were playing in soccer eight. Yep. And Arsene Wenger, the former is, Arsenal, is the manager, former Arsenal yeah. manager, is the one that went. Why, why aren't you playing anymore? <laughs> yeah, listen, when Arsene Wenger still says that you got it, you got to, you know, you believe that you have it, yeah. So I played in Soccer Aid, which to anybody that doesn't know, huge fundraiser for UNICEF yeah. over in London and um, played with, you know, the likes of Cafu and Shevchenko and Usain Bolt was like our, our you know, center Absolutely. striker. Yeah, like, yeah. unbelievable. I was like, just dump it over the top to <laughs> Bolt and have him run yeah. onto it. <laughs> And, uh, and Arsene Wenger was my manager, and I also was at Arsenal at the same time as Arsene. So we sort of knew each other before, and he says, Heather, you are still very good. Why don't you still play? <laughs> it's a good Arsene, yeah. I have to say. Yeah, nice. Well, thank you for saying that, because some people thought that, that was like a Scandinavian sort of <laughs> No, I'm like going to go. Oh, yeah, I, can hear I it. thought that it sounds pretty good. So anyways, he thought that I still, you know, could, could knock it around, and so if he says that I still have it... I said, you know what, maybe I have to pursue this Champions League dream that's been in my head forever, and I'm a competitor, right? Yeah. So, like, I love, like, you know, having a goal and going after it, and, and here we are, and it's just been such a, a, a fun adventure. My, my family's over here, meeting this new team, learning about Irish football, and just seeing how far I can take it and how far the team can take it.